everybody, Rosemater here. Welcome to part two of my Steins Gate Let's Play. First of all, I want to thank you guys so much for the positive reception to me uh, starting this Let's Play. You guys seem excited about it, which makes me excited. So just a quick note, I did mention this in the comment section of my first episode, but I will be only reading the non-voice acted parts uh, from this point on because this visual novel is very long and me reading everything is just going to double the amount of time it's going to take me to play this. I think I just got caught up in reading everything coming off Song of Saya, so I just naturally kept doing that. And on that note, I will also be turning Okabe's voice back on. I've been reading your comments. A lot of you guys said that that would be the best way to do it. So that is how it's going to go from this point forward. Visual novels are always tough for me. The first episode or two is always kind of just figuring things out, but... Yes, that's how we're going to do it from this point on, so I'm going to stop babbling, we're going to get back into it, and we're going to see what happens next. <laughs> Japan's famous girl genius, Makase Kirisu, who had her thesis published at the tender age of 17. According to Daru, she turned 18 a few days ago. I first heard about her when Daru pointed her out in a Gossip Magazine article. That's when he told me she was going to be a guest at ATF. I'd forgotten all about it. The audience is pretty mixed. It's mostly students like us, but there are also a couple of professors. And Karisu just gave me a sharp look. What did I do? Oh, you mean like all the groping that you did to her? <laughs> like, really, dude? When I return her stare, she quickly averts her eyes. Hmm, I don't care if she's a genius or whatever. I still don't like her. She may have these people fooled with her timid girl act, but I learned at RoddyCon how cunning and aggressive she really is. Even if her murder was some kind of hallucination, my judgment of her character is still correct. <laughs> Alright there, Phoenix, right? I was gonna say, this is 2009. Phoenix Wright came out around this time, right? Every member of the audience, not just Kurusu, is startled by my interruption. Perhaps I'm being slightly rude here, but I'm not going to just sit here and listen to some genius girl's drivel. <laughs> Sitting at my side, Daru throws me a small salute. ATF staff are approaching, probably to kick me out. <laughs> that seems to happen to him a lot, doesn't he? He goes to lectures and just causes a fuss. Perhaps I got too carried away. Thanks to her proposal, the event staff refrained from escorting me out. She sounds a little pissed, but let's not mind that. Hmm, what are the major theories of time travel? I have heard about the cosmic string theory at least. The 11 theories. <laughs> oh, he's like, oh, she knows her shit after all. Hmm, not bad. Perhaps Makase Kurisu is a worthy rival after all. Hmm, 
12番目の理論が発見されたとしたらどうかな<笑>ああそうですねそれはえっと I love her face just like shut up dude 13番目の理論によって否定されるかもしれませんね Damn, she twisted my question and used it against me. Touche, genius girl. I just want her to shut him down. Suddenly, I feel eyes on me. Some puffed up professors are give me, giving me hard looks from across the room. Maybe I got too carried away. I don't want to risk losing my credits. I should back off for now. Okay, so another thing too is since I'm not reading everything,、uh, what I will do is I'm going to keep my tips to the end of the video like I did last time, but I will read them because I'm going to be giving my throat a little bit of a break by not reading everything now. So look forward to the end of the video where I will be reading the tips throughout this、uh, episode. What does that mean? Okay. 24時間その速度で走り続ければ周囲では48時間が経ったことになるから丸1日分未来へ飛んだことになるんですよ法王院京馬さん。It's too great a risk to let others know my true name. So, it's a very good thing. Now, a professor calmly makes an objection. See, that's how you do it, Okarin. True, Makase Kurisu's example isn't strictly time travel, per se. But I never expected an older man, a professor at that, to refute an 18 year old girl. Maybe he's just testing the genius girl's res、uh, resilience. So, this is it. The genius girl readily concedes the point. If she were a normal 18 year old, it would be impossible for her to be this calm in front of all these people. A normal 18 year old would panic when refuted by such a distinguished looking professor. And yet, Makase Kurisu is giving off an aura of gutsiness that says, I can take this guy on. This time it's a nearby student who objects. Was it just me, or did Kurisu look a little nervous just now? A string shaped crevasse? Crevice? Cre Did I say crevasse? Crevice. That must be how they enter our universe. But do cosmic strings really exist? これは巨大な質量であるがゆえに時空を歪める性質を持っているんですその歪んだ時空を紐を中心にあなたがぐるっと一周すると360度以内で回り切ることができる要するにワープみたいなことができるということこれ So, right now it seems like she's arguing for time travel that it's possible. But it seemed like she was against the idea, but I will, I will let her keep talking and see what happens.
これを応用して宇宙ひもが高速に近い速さで運動しているとき相対性理論により宇宙ひもの時間は周囲より遅くなるから歪んでいる角度欠損の領域を通過すると本来ゼロだった通過時間がマイナスになる。Therefore, passing through the area of angular deficient,、uh, deficit would cause the transit time to become negative instead of zero. つまり、通過後の方が過去になっているわけ。で、2本の宇宙紐を使って空間欠損ジャンプを行い、元の地点まで周回するように戻ってくると、ちょうど周回を開始したのと同じ時間に戻ってくることができる。ざっくり言っちゃうと、それが宇宙紐理論によるタイムトラベルです。ちなみに誤解しないでほしいのは宇宙ひも理論は超ひも理論とは別物ということです。というわけで宇宙ひも理論で過去へ行くために用意するものは3つ。その1宇宙ひも。これは2つ必要です。あちなみに宇宙ひもって生まれたばかりの宇宙にしかないという仮定なので探すのはかなり骨が折れるかも。その2仮に宇宙ひもを見つけてきたらそれを光に近い速さで運動させるためのエネルギーが必要です銀河と同じ長さのひび割れを光並みに加速させるにはどのくらいのエネルギーがいるんでしょうね少なくとも<笑> 1.21 ジゴワット以上なのは確かです This earns a few chuckles from the audience. その3宇宙紐があるところまで行って戻ってくるための宇宙船タイムトラベルする人はこれに乗らないといけませんどうです法王院さん宇宙紐理論でのタイムトラベル挑戦できると思いますか Like that's even possible And why the hell is she addressing me? I wasn't even the one who jeered this time <笑>法王院さんは宇宙紐理論には挑戦したくないようですねだったらもう一つ例に挙げたワームホール理論はどうですこちらは宇宙ひも理論よりはもうちょっと現実的かもしれませんところで法王院さんワームホールってどんなものか知ってますか No, don't ask me. I'm trying to hold back here. Since I've been challenged though, I can't leave the question unanswered. 空間に開いた抜け道のようなもの。ね、そうです。Phew, I got that right. I sigh inwardly in relief. 二つの穴があって、それはトンネルでつながっている。トンネルは通過時間ゼロで通り抜けられる。二つの穴がどれだけ離れていてもね。だけど、ここで残念なお知らせ。ワームホールのトンネルは超重力がかかっていて開通すると同時に潰れちゃいますだからかかる重力を無効化するために何らかの細工をしなくちゃダメなのいわゆるエキゾチック物質これはマイナスの重さを持つ物質で重力に反発するんですネガティブマス、huh? Is it something that floats if you leave it on the ground? Maybe not. I can't even begin.、Uh, I can't even imagine what it would look like. Carisu raises her right fist. こうやって、むぎゅーっとグーを作ってる状態がワームホールのトンネルです。ここを通るためには、手の中に私が握ろうとする力に反発する何かを作って、むぎゅーっとできなくしないとダメということですね。Carisu opens her fist. エキゾチック物質を注入してワームホールを安定させれば瞬間移動は可能になりますでもタイムトラベルをするにはそこからもうひと手間必要ここでは仮にワームホールの入り口側の穴がこの秋葉原に出口側にある穴が LA にあるとしましょうまず LA にある穴を光に近い速さで宇宙の果てまで飛ばしちゃってくださいそして果てまで行ったらすぐに LA に引っ張り戻す。あ、uh,、あ、あ。相対性理論により光の速さで動くと時間は遅く流れる
エリエに戻ってきた穴は秋葉原にある穴よりも過去にあるということになります。Okay. I find this sort of interesting, but I'm also a big dum dum. And I'm kind of dreading. I'm hoping that the whole episode is not her going through every single theory. All 11 theories, because my eyes might roll into the back of my head. So, you know, the whole thing is that 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 the その通過時間はゼロなので法王院さんは数年前の秋葉原に戻ってくるわけですこれでタイムトラベルは完了ワームホール理論に必要なものは宇宙紐より楽ですよその1ワームホールそのものこの宇宙のどこかにもしかしたらあるかもしれません見つけた人はまだ誰もいませんがその2ワームホールの穴を光並みの速さで宇宙の果てまで往復させることのできるエネルギーその3エキゾチック物質ちなみにこれ実在は確認されてません So implementation of either one would require a ridiculous amount of effort バカらしいと最初に言った理由は分かってもらえましたか Okay, so she is. Yeah, she's breaking it down about how it's ridiculous it is to meet all the criteria for it to be able to work. Time travel is a very good thing. So, the time machine is a very good thing. So, the time machine is a very good thing. So, the time machine is a very good thing. So, the time machine is a very good thing. So, the time machine is a very good thing. So, the time machine is a very good thing. So, the time So, obviously, that we know that it does happen because it has happened to Okarin. I'm gonna keep calling him that because that's what I keep hearing him be called. So, I'm wondering if that is going to be the 12th、uh, theory that hasn't been discovered yet. Maybe it's through his phone. Maybe his phone is a special secret phone that is able to implement time travel. Nice. That microwave thing, right? The microwave. Um, phone thing. Maybe, maybe that's time travel. A firm declaration. The mass of the entire universe is constant. If a time machine traveled from the future to the past, there would, be,、uh, there would suddenly be the extra mass of the time machine and its pilot in the past. I remember reading in a book, not a terribly reputable book, but still, that such a violation of mass conservation would put the universe in danger. It didn't say what kind of danger, though. 質量保存の法則を宇宙のようなマクロレベルあるいは原子や素粒子などのミクロレベルの仕組みに当てはめるのは誤りです。What? Is that true? <笑> ah, she's laughing at my reaction. That little. Ah,、oh, how mortifying. あれは化学反応に対する法則でしかないから。現代物理学においては全く成立しない。無から言うは生み出せますから。わお、that's pretty amazing。では、何が問題となるのかね。タイムパラドックスはタイムパラドックスでも、親殺しのパラドックスの方です。おう、that thing where you kill your own ancestors before you were born? そのパラドックスの回が導き出されない限り、タイムトラベルは実現できない。絶対に殺さなければいいんじゃないのそんな単純な問題じゃありません SF 映画と同じように考えるのはとても危険ですあなたが消えるだけじゃ済まされない、really? Doesn't seem that dangerous. 矛盾が生じることは因果率の崩壊相対性理論の崩壊さらには
この世のすべての物理法則の崩壊を意味するのよパラドックスは理論上の思考実験に過ぎない現実に起きることはないし起きてはいけないことなんですだからたとえ 0.000001% でも起きる可能性のあるどんな行動も絶対に実行には移せないそう考える方が自然じゃないですか多世界解釈や自己無矛盾の原理っていう抜け道もありますが個人的にはファンタジーすぎると思うので認めたくないですね<笑> I grind my teeth When I see Makase Kurisu looking at me with her composed expression, I avert my eyes. Looks like I have no choice but to concede. Makase Kurisu truly is a genius. I ended up listening to all of Kurisu's lecture at ATF. After the two time travel theory she introduced at the beginning, she explained the rest with equal eloquence, and I'm very happy we don't have to listen to all of that. She seemed a little nervous at first, but that quickly changed as she spoke. By the end, it was an impressive lecture. So impressive, you wouldn't think it was an 18 year old's first time. She did well to respond to my malicious questions with sarcasm. She's got guts. Wait, why am I praising her? And she's totally gonna be on his team eventually, right? Like, once he convinces her what's happened, because she seemed interested in that text. So she's probably gonna join the team, blah, 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 as it always happens. And at first, they don't like each other, but I'm sure they will end up to like each other. Leaving that aside, I saw Makase Kurisu dead, and yet she's alive. My memories don't mesh with reality. And not just about Kurisu, my conversations with Daru and My、uh, Mayuri don't make any sense either. Everything would be solved if I just told myself that what I saw was a dream, an illusion. It never happened. But never say never. This leaves me with no choice. After parting ways with Daru at ATF, I head to Ya. Yanaba- Oh my gosh, Yanabayashi Shrine. I need to get exercised. I seriously doubt that the Makase Kurisu at ATF was a ghost. Regardless, it's natural to seek an exorcism after such an experience. I'm Japanese, it's in our blood. Yanabayashi Shrine is located on the other side of Kondo River. To find it, enter the first side road after crossing、uh, Monsebashi Bridge. It's a very small shrine that doesn't fit with the surrounding multi tenant buildings. Kanda Myojin is the, most, is the more famous shrine in Akiba, but I deliberately chose this one. The shrine is so small you could easily miss it if you weren't looking. Regardless, I can hear the chirping of cicadas from the few trees growing here. There are two girls standing in front of the main building. One of them is Mayuri. Oh, we're going to be introduced to a new person. The other is a docile looking beauty in traditional Miko attire. Oh my gosh, another crazy name. Alright. Ur Urushibara Luka. I'll just call her Luka, because I can say that. A stunning example of feminine charm and grace. Lips delicate like cherry blossoms in bloom. The essence of Japanese beauty. The chief priest's son. That's right, son. <laughs> Lovely in every way, but he's a guy. Well, never mind then. I was like, man, there's a lot of girls in this game, but okay. He bows his head. The voice of a girl, the mannerisms of a girl. More feminine than any girl I know. But he's a guy. <laughs> he's like, he gives me weird tingly feelings. Taller than Mayuri, yet oh so slender. But he's a guy. <laughs> he really is. He's fighting himself. Looks stunning in Miko robes, but he's a guy. <laughs> Holding a bamboo broom, apparently in the middle of cleaning, but he's a guy. <laughs> I love this. It's almost evening, yet still hot as hell outside, but he's a guy. <laughs> Damn cicadas won't shut up, but he's a guy. <laughs> this is amazing. Lukako, yo. Omae, ore ga ataita katana wa dou shita? He's a friend of mine. I, I call him Lukako. Lu Lukako? He literally just said it, and I.、Eh. We met when I rescued him from some aggressive photographers in Akiba's pedestrian heaven. It also so happens that Lukako and Mayuri are classmates. I learned that fact after I'd gotten to know him. 
Lukako is taken aback by my sharp question. He starts fidgeting with a flushed face and tears in his eyes. Okay, I see what you guys mean by his voice. I love it's like it sounds like he's trying to sound cool, like uh, Rintaro or Okarin. It sounds like he uh, it sounds like he knows he's in like a video game and he's the protagonist. He's like, I must be cool and have a cool voice. <laughs> and then right there he just <laughs> He panics. It doesn't sound so cool. I ignore Mayuri's question. それでいるかこれ。妖刀サミダレはちゃんと使っているのか。はい。一日一回は素振りを。あれを持ち、精神残りを極めさえすれば、お前は己の内にある邪悪な炎に焼かれずに済む。Demon Sword Samadare may be an imitation sword, but that is only the form it takes to hide from the world. When one worthy to wield it appears, it unleashes its true power. And it was on sale for only 980 yen, taxes included. <laughs> this guy's such a knob and I love it. It just I just love he's just surrounded by people. He's trying to like sound like a badass and try and sound like an anime protagonist, and everyone around him is just like, nah, dude, stop it. Like it's no. Except for uh Luca, who is, you know, kind of sort of like playing along. Lukako smiles happily as I nod. Such a lovely smile, but he's a guy. <laughs> Jeez. Though we do have a master disciple relationship. I, Hoy Hoyuin Kuyoma, have gone to great lengths to brainwash, uh, I mean teach Lukako about the evil conspiracies that rule the world and how to resist them. That stuff about Demon Sword Samadare is part of that training. Looks aside, Lukako is very obedient and hardworking. Plus, he's always eager to learn new things. A master couldn't ask for a better disciple. Though he does have the weakness of not catching on too quickly and being too shy. So ライネットのキラリちゃんこそしてほしいってずっと頼んでるのに、人も <laughs> Mayuri's hobby is making costumes. She's made at least 30 so far, but it's rare for her to wear one herself. Instead, she seems to get her kicks from seeing other people wear them. And it looks like she's chosen Lukako as her next target. Naturally, the costume Mayuri is currently raving about is for a female character. Normally, I would understand why a man wouldn't want to dress like a girl. But come on, Lukako has no problem wearing Miko robes. 
Why should cosplay be any different? But whatever, I have business to take care of. そんなくだらないことは後でやるんだな。え、マユシにとっては大事なことだもん。俺にとっては that's why I came here instead of Kanda Shrine. Toyu Akade. Reno Aro Motegoi. Reno Areto Yimasto. Samidare Tesco? Chinga. Oh, had I any yoto was still an idol. Oh, had I to eat an arena kimatiru? Seskina Meshua Bakranga. That's exactly how I would describe it. Shaky shaky. <laughs> Quite a shock to hear that from Mayuri. Lukako makes a quick bow, then runs off towards his house, which is on the shrine grounds. Meanwhile, Mayuri takes her pocket watch out of her bag to check the time. It's a very old watch, not the sort you'd expect from a high school girl to carry. Its name is Pockety. <laughs> Obviously, that's the name Mayuri gave it, not its brand name or anything. Ever since elementary school, Mayuri has carried Pockety with her everywhere. It's her most important treasure, and that's... It's a watch, it's related to time, it's a treasured thing. Uh, that's probably gonna have some significance too, I feel like. <laughs> or maybe that's just a red herring to pull out all of these things and be like, Ooh, this seems important. <laughs> Mayuri lives in... Ikeburu. Oh my gosh, guys, I have such a hard time with these names. Ike. God, help me if I ever go to Japan. Uh, Ike Bukuro. <laughs> she comes to Akiba by train just about every day. It should be obvious since we're childhood friends and all, but I live in Ikebukuro too. Can you guys live somewhere that's not so hard to pronounce? <laughs> I can I can pronounce Akihabara, but though I've been staying at the lab since summer break began. Oh, you lucky day. I call Mayuri to stop before she trots off. Mayuri, Omae wa ano toki, rajikan de otoku no hime o kiita yo na. Hime? Mayuri blinks several times and puts her finger to her temple as if in thought. Then she gives her usual smile. Hisore te. いつのこと聞いてないかなそうか分かっただったらいい変なおかりじゃあねてってるマイリー leaves this time for good though she pauses to wave at least a half dozen times before disappearing beyond the archway Lukako returns shortly after Mahiri leaves. In his hands is the white ziggy zaggy thing I asked for. Lukako is flustered. Is he really up to this? I'm beginning to doubt. I should have known better. The instant doubt touches my heart, a terrible chill shoots up my spine. I grab my violently shaking wrist. 
沈まれ悪霊よ急げルカコこのままでは俺は乗っ取られる All right, yeah, I can see why you guys like、uh, like the voice acting for him. He he definitely is a ham. So, so, Hokabe, sir, s h i k a r i s t e k u d a s a i Ore, Hokabe, sir, they were night. See, my thank you, my son. Timo, book, Tostara. Oh, had I won't. It's okay. Oh, no, my old set of all in me. いい with a serious look on his face, Lukako grasped the un,、uh, Unusa with both hands as if it were a sword. His stance is impressive. I've taught him well. His face is red and he can barely talk. It looks like he wants to say something but is hesitating. Panicking because he feels awkward? <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> <laughs> The music is so dramatic. <laughs> Lukako starts crying. Looks like he's really worried. Reason tells me he's a guy, but his lovely appearance makes me feel guilty, like I made a frail girl cry. But despite the tears welling up in his eyes, it looks like Lukako has managed to work up his resolve. <laughs> He raises the Unisa up high, shaking it left and right. <laughs> <laughs> zigzags. I love he calls it zigzaggy things. <laughs> the tip of the Unisa touches my upper arm. In an anime, this would be the cue for some dramatic shockwave to occur, but nothing like that happens. The only sound is the chirping of cicadas. I take a deep breath. The trembling in my arm has stopped. So, this is him, like, just in day to day life being so dramatic when weird shit starts happening, like, it's gonna go up to a hundred. <laughs> Lukako sighs in relief and blushes. His shy smile really does make him look like a girl, but he's a guy. Oh, I was hoping for that to happen. After I get back to the lab, I take the broken TV down to the brawn tube workshop for repairs. Daru and Mayuri have already gone home, so I have to carry the TV down the narrow staircase by myself. It's brutal, backbreaking work, but I manage. I push the workshop door open with my hips and head inside. The room is dimly lit by the setting sun, but the gloom is offset by the glare from the gigantic CRT in the center of the room. 42 inch CRT television. It doesn't seem like something you could get in modern Japan. With LCD TVs becoming the new standard, I seriously doubt anyone would want a bulky old CRT. Oh. Man, I remember when those things were like, whoa, 42 inch? Like, that was a big deal. That was, that was high tech. I am that old. <laughs> Sitting in front of this, the huge CRT is an equally huge man reading a sports newspaper. How hard is your name gonna be? <laughs> He's the workshop's manager, actually, the owner of this whole building, Tenoji Yugo. I call him Mr. Braun. I like that name. I, I can say that name. <laughs> It's a fitting name for someone who loves Braun tubes. I barely managed to set the heavy TV on the counter. A muscle bound bald guy talking about love. It sends shivers down my spine. Surely, you'll never stay. Say you send up. 
相変わらず変な話し方だなおめえって I just love, I love how everybody calls him out on how he's just, he's just weird and he acts like he's, he is a protagonist in an anime. Mr. Braun begins investigating the cause of the problem. With nothing better to do, I look around the store. I don't know if it's just the dust hanging in the air, but something feels stagnant about this place. There are CRT screens everywhere. Nope, the haphazard layout makes them seem like junk, but they're all functional according to Mr. Brown. Okay, 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 I've got mail. Let me check. All right. All right, Upa is super popular, you know, even more popular than the hero. Kakarukun, they're so cute, I want to collect them. It's like how you used to collect black, black fingerless gloves, remember? Oh my gosh, he was, he was like a little goth guy. I admit, I did have some fingerless gloves in high school. Actually, what I did was, this was something that we did back in the mid-2000s, is we would take toe socks, and we would cut the tips off the, uh, the toe parts, and we would wear them as fingerless gloves. Oh my gosh, mid-2000s fashion was the worst, and I did it. I had, like, rainbow, rainbow toe gloves that I cut and wore as fingerless gloves, because I was a cool person in high school. Oh my gosh, that just brought me back. Ugh, okay. And once again, the thing about the Upa is that that's gonna have to, that Upa that he got her, that's gonna come back. I, I feel like it will. He's got a full range of both old and new. Some of them are probably older than me. There are even some flat screen and HD CRTs that came out just before LCDs took the market. The crowds in Akiba thin quickly at night. All the major electric stores close around 8 or 9 o'clock. And then, as if the liveliness of the day was simply a lie, the town goes silent. The manager glares at me and takes a photo from his wallet. It's a picture of a young girl shyly making a peace sign at the camera. One might assume this muscle-bound man to be some kind of pervert, but the girl is actually his daughter. She's about 12 years old now, I think. His love for her is second only to his love for CRTs. Or was it the other way around? My first instinct, especially like because he's muscle bound, is if my first thought is if he has a picture of a little girl in his wallet would be that it would be his daughter. My first thought would not be, oh, he likes to have pictures of little girls because he's a pervert. <laughs> I see her in the store every now and again. What was her name again? <laughs> That's it. Nai. Not, oh uh, boy, I don't know if I'm saying that right. A rare name that means to braid. She pops up at the store now and again, so we've interacted with her before. And by we, I mean Mayuri, since she's the only one Nai gets along with. Nai always hides when she sees me or Daru. She's got good instincts, I think. I must admit, I'm impressed she can sense my aura of madness at such an early age. I don't think that's it, my dude. Mr. Braun makes a grandiose kissing gesture at his daughter's photo. Aw, once again, shivers down my spine. Yes, how dare a father have love for his daughter? I've been renting the second floor for about six months, but I don't recall ever seeing a customer. I would be surprised if this place were actually making any money. This is totally like a front for some sort of drug den or something, like something nefarious. Because I, yeah, because I'm like, they're in Akihabara, which has got to be like super expensive for rent. I mean, that's what Okabe said literally in the first episode. And he's selling CRTs. Like, he's not making any money. He puts away the photo and goes back to checking the TV, leaving me with that vague answer. Ah, では、よろしく。待ってろ。見積もり書作ってやる。ま、金を取るのか。当たり前だろ。払わねえつもりだったのか。このテレビはあなたからもらったものだぞ。As in this guy like renting them the room above for really cheap. It's like, come on, dude. It's like show some gratitude. He's got to make some money. だからなんだよ。
アフターサービスまでタダでやってやるとは言ってねえぜ。おのれ。ジュビオマジカのオンボロを押し付けておいて、そのイグサとはうるせえな。だったら人ってやってもいいんだぞ。家電リサイクル法で回収費ももらうけどな。大暴だぞ人類史の未来を変えるやもしれぬ男からたかろうとははあ、それ誰のことだ俺のことに決まっているでしょう。はあ、磨いて寝ろよ、ガキ。<笑>そもそも2階をただ同然で貸してやってるこの俺にそういうことを言うとはいい度胸だな。Right, exactly. I'm like, did he explain why in the first episode? Why he's letting him have it for so cheap? I can't remember. <笑>修理代は弾む。In the end, I'm no match for him. Just then, I hear the door open. I look up to see that a girl has entered the store. She's wearing a vintage jacket and tight shorts that highlight her long limbs and, a- and athletic figure. I find myself particularly impressed by her well defined thighs.、Uh-huh. That's better not be the daughter. Oh. Hmm. Suddenly, time stops. It feels like someone activated the world. Ah, are they? The girl is still standing there with her arm in the air. Her smile gradually fades into confusion. What kind of reaction was she hoping for? Seriously. Anyway, is she the person Mr. Braun was expecting? Maybe she's someone he knows personally. Another daughter? Or dare I say, his girlfriend? She finally drops her pose and clears her throat. <laughs> And just like that, time starts moving again. Oh, Baito no men sets the state, Huna. Or got ten chow no ten nojda. Baito no men sets that all? Conna waka josega? Conno shinky sack the Oshare can zero the Hanjo Moshe or as a Musa or Sanga ten chow no brown can go born in Baito Kibo that you know. Oh, me. Right? I was like, damn, dude, it's like talking back to the guy who's basically like your landlord. Not a smart move. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. I don't know if I'm going to be a The girl looks a little embarrassed. That's honestly surprising. Looks like they're going to have a formal interview. I was going to leave, but since Mr. Braun hasn't kicked me out yet, I'll stick around a little bit longer. The girl's expression is stiff. I guess she's nervous. Just because of a part time interview? In contrast to how she wouldn't take no for an answer, she doesn't seem so enthusiastic. Same as me. Of course, what a, coinc- what a coincidence that all the girls around him are the same age. She shakes her head. <laughs> Man, if only it was that easy for job interviews. <laughs> Finally, Amane Suzaha seems to relax. Then she looks at me. ところでさ君はどれ俺の女聞きたいというのかいややめておけそれを知ることでお前にも最悪が降りかかるかもしれんこれまでも多くの人が俺の名を知ったことで機関に狙われたアメリカのサライタリアのクラウディアフランスの
<笑>あ、ほな妄想してんじゃねえよ。The girl stands up, places her hand on my shoulder, and looks at me with a serious expression. Huh? Stuff like what? <laughs> this guy's like, I regret hiring her. She's as weird as he is. Mr. Brown. <彼女は採用しない方がいいと思う。笑> <laughs> <laughs> But someday the world will kneel before me. Mwahaha. And then Amane Suzaha stares straight at me again. Maybe she has a habit of looking people in the eye. So you know the Hayatenda. Thank you, Ninatayo. Trend? I don't think so. That's it. Oh, receiving mail. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, Lukako, what's up? Are you really okay with yesterday's exorcism? I feel like a more traditional ceremony would have been something... Oh, right, there's these parts here. Do... Oh, right, oh, I can respond. Uh, oh no, shoot. Oh, darn it. Because there was blue things there. I could have chosen stuff. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Looks like I missed my chance. Okay. Well, if this, at least I'm not going to make that mistake. Okay, are you really okay with yesterday's exorcism? I feel like a more traditional ceremony would have been better. I'm worried something might happen to you because my exorcism wasn't strong enough. It bothers me so much I can't sleep at night. P.S. Because of that, I couldn't do more than three practice swings with Samadare. Okay, so I can choose exorcism, ceremony, or something might happen. Let's do something. Reply. Don't worry, thanks to your exorcism, my right arm has been quiet for a while. Still, there's no telling what could set it off. If I'm forced to do battle again, let's just pray the organization's ass- <laughs> Ass- Asses. <laughs> Don't find me. Oh, I'm so not used to this, like, it cutting off like this with this old school phone. Alright, I have to remember that. Sorry guys, sorry I missed out on the one with Mayuri, but I'm gonna try and be better about that and make sure that I reply to the messages I get. I wonder if- can I do other things here? Can I call people? Nope, guess not. I still can't in access the uh, internet, the outbox. Oh, I'm really bummed out about that. Oh, attachments. Oh! No! Oh. oh, snap! Okay! Well, I'm glad I checked that. Okay, so yes, there's a little clip. Okay, so I have to be very very careful about making sure that I click on everything to make sure I don't miss it. Okay. Alright, back to this. I was at university all morning. As I return to Akiba, the heat is now becoming unbearable. I grab an iced coffee at the bakery inside Yorobashi to quench my thirst. While I'm at it, I guess I'll check at channel on my phone. Oh, here we go. I can check the internet now. I most, uh, mostly frequent the occult board, the future technology board, and sometimes the physics board. I search for threads on the mass disappearance phenomenon or Makase Kurisu's stabbing, but turn up nothing. So were those hallucinations after all? When I peek at the occult board, I find posts in multiple threads from someone claiming to be John Teeter. Wait, John Teeter is back? John Teeter appeared on an American BBS 10 years ago, claiming to be a time traveler. He claimed to have traveled from the year 2036 in order to obtain an old computer the IBN 5100, or 5100, I guess. His claims start, started quite a storm among the BBS denizens. 
Teeter also made several accurate, if fragmentary, predictions of future events. The start of the Iraq War and the spread of, oh my goodness, okay, uh, Kreutzfeldt Jacob disease, for example. To prove he was from the future, he explained the principles behind his time machine and provided pictures of its operation manual. But after about four months, he disappeared without ever revealing his identity. At one point, his predictions gained popularity even in Japan. Yes, he certainly did get some things right. But on the other hand, he missed several others. Some of his posts contradicted each other too. That's why, to this day, most people doubt his authenticity as a time traveler. So after 10 years of silence, that same John Teeter is now on a Japanese BBS? Ridiculous. It's obviously a troll. First of all, John Teeter is American, yet now he's posting on at channel in Japanese. Let's take a look at his posts. Okay. I don't expect you to believe I came from the year 2036. I see everyone would like to know more about my time machine. Time travel technology was developed by CERN. They completed the first time machine in 2034. Time traveler, lol. John Teeter, lol. Oh, ah, no, wait, ah, shoot. No, darn it. Ah, oh, I'm so bad at this. Uh, CERN has a monopoly on time machines. Not even the most powerful nations on Earth can acquire one, to say nothing of private citizens. CERN used their time machine for power. By 2036, the world had become a dystopia. There is no war, no conflict. However, that is a false peace founded on the complete eradication of liberty. What does LOL mean? Why did you come to this time? Was the Akiba's satellite crash you're doing? Wait guys, Teeter-san doesn't understand at channel lingo. Let's keep it simple, okay? Oh, okay, so I can scroll back up. Cool, I was afraid that I had missed- Oh, darn it, I can't. Ow! Grr! <laughs> Look. Oh, I'm having such trouble even just like doing this stupid thing. All right, I came here to chase, change my present. In other words, your future. My mission is to destroy CERN's dystopia and restore freedom to the world. This is a wonderful time you're living in. Everyone is free, but you will lose it all in just 20 short years. It is vitally important you understand what the future has in store. What is a trip code? I might get one if you tell me what it is. You said only CERN has time machines. You have a time machine. That must mean you're working for CERN. Therefore, your goal can't be to de destroy CERN's dystopia. You're a fraud. What's a dystopia? How can CERN take over the world in just 20 years? Look at the Middle East. You've been reading too much manga if you think you can get those guys to stop killing each other. Who asked you to change the future? You trying to play God? If they're promising world peace, then I for one welcome our new CERN overlords. My time machine is a prototype reverse engineered from stolen CERN technology. Compared to their time machine, its capabilities are quite limited. In 2036, the world is ruled by a single all-powerful governing body. They control every aspect of our lives, deciding what we will eat, where we will live, and who we will marry. There is no privacy and no choice. Anyone who dares oppose them is eliminated. There are no trials. In movies and stuff, small changes to the past cause, cause huge changes to the future. You've already changed the present by coming here. What happens if you make unexpected changes to the future? Uh, implying CERN rules the world, do you even know what CERN is, lol. OP is a troll. So if we find his dad and kill him, then this time traveler laughing my ass off will never be born and we won't have to listen to this bullshit, am I right? I want to know if you can meet your past self. Can you have self sussed <laughs> Oh boy. You're talking about the so-called grandfather paradox. That has been debunked. This world line has a divergence of 0.571024% compared to the world line I came from. Killing my father would alter divergence, creating a world line where my father is dead. However, it would not erase this world line. I would go on existing. CERN is a Particle Physics Research Institute. That hasn't changed in 2036. It is possible to meet your past self. The prevailing theory in my time is that nothing would happen. I, however, haven't met my past self. If you're really a time traveler, then fucking prove it. Post time machine pics or get the fuck out. Oh my gosh, this lingo is so 2009. The many worlds interpretation? Whoa, slow down, bro. Research institution taking over the world, lol what? Uh, okay. I do not feel the need to prove I am what I say I am. I am only posting these messages on a whim. My mission comes first. What are world lines? Can you meet yourself from another world line? What happens if you do? Uh, late reply. A trip code is a way to identify posters. Put, uh, pound has uh, password after your name. LOL backpedaling. 
Oh my gosh, okay, world lines are like an infinite number of rivers flowing in parallel. Along the way, they are constantly branching out into new world lines. This is called divergence. For example, whether or not you post on this message board has practically no effect on this world line's divergence. But if you were murdered, let's say, then divergence would change. However, it would only change by about 0.00002% if that. A single human being's death is not terribly significant on a global scale. Wars, disasters, acts of terrorism, and other events that cause, cause widespread death and destruction have a much greater effect on divergence. Thanks for telling me about trip codes. I'll make sure I get, I'll use one from now on. I'm starting to get tired, so let's pick up again tomorrow. It's been fun talking to everyone. Whew, oh my goodness. I'm glad that I haven't been voicing everybody, because I think my throat would have given up there. Looks like they're already, they've already made an archive of these threads. Of course, there have been sites dedicated to John Teeter for years now. This post closely resembles what the original Teeter wrote ten years ago. I've read one of the books on Teeter. That's how I know. This new John Teeter is clearly an imposter, and that's the guy that he called out when he called out that guy at the uh, the conference for the Time Machine, where he said, "You're just copying John Teeter's stuff." There were many Teeter fanatics on at channel. He's not exactly a household name in Japan, but I doubt anyone would fall for this level of trolling. As I continue to read, however, I find the response the opposite of what I expected. Everyone is accepting this time traveler as if this were his first appearance. Nobody has even mentioned his appearance ten years ago. Finding this strange, I try posting a retort, but everyone ignores me. What the hell? You can figure this out if you do a little research, people. There's the original John Teeter thread archive in English and plenty of Teeter blogs in Japanese. I enter John Teeter's name into a search engine. Ooh, is anything gonna come up? 12 matches. Wait, only 12? Moreover, all 12 are about the current Teeter's postings on at channel. I can't find a single trace of the Teeter from 10 years ago. Bizarre, this just can't be. I searched for information on Teeter a few years ago. Back then I got tens of thousands of hits. Is this search engine filtered? I try searching on another site just to make sure, but it gives the same result. What is this madness? It feels like I've stumbled onto another plane of reality. Could this be another organization conspiracy? These past two days I've been surrounded by nothing but chaos and confusion. I'll call Daru. He'll know about Teeter for sure. After all, I've talked to him about Teeter before. I only vaguely remember the details of that conversation but I'm positive the conversation happened. By the time I dig my phone out of my bag, I no longer feel like making the call. Instead, I send him an email on the way back to the lab. He replies with his location. By May Queen, he means May Queen plus Nyan 2, a maid cafe. Oh yay, here comes the fan service. <laughs> Daro's a regular there. Apparently, 3D cat maids are his thing too. May Queen plus Neon 2 is only a three-minute walk from the lab. Coming from uh, Kura Meabashidori, take a left at Suma Koisaka Crossing and you'll find it. That's where I'm headed now. It's usually busy in Akiba during summer break, but now it's even busier because of the Rodicon, uh, Rodicon incident. The area was blocked off yesterday, but it doesn't look like they could keep the main road closed for two days straight. I haven't seen a single police officer today. But the Rodicon building still seems off limits. The entrance shutters are closed shut and steel, uh, sealed with yellow police tape. Nazo 爆発などの危険は今のところないということですが、秋葉原を訪れた買い物客や地元商店街の関係者からは不安の声が上がっています。The media has dozens of cameras set up outside the police line, and there are nearly twice as many onlookers as reporters, enough to fill the entire street with people. Everyone's aiming their phone cameras at the satellite-like object. So many people. Living in Akiba, you get used to crowds and big events, but a gathering of this size is unusual. I wonder when they'll get rid of that thing. I hope it doesn't explode or something. They've been letting people back into the area, so I guess there's no danger. 
Still, considering its unknown origin, I'm surprised there isn't more security. Today, like always, otaku are shopping for, uh, doijin- oh, ugh. Doijinshi. Import games, electronics, or whatever strikes their fancy. I know what that is. I know it's a type of manga, but I don't think I pronounced that right. <laughs> Aside from the scene at Rodicon, it's the same as any other day. But I still don't understand what I saw yesterday. I've half accepted that the mass disappearance was just my imagination. Maybe I've become unable to distinguish reality from fantasy, like the media likes to say about teenagers these days. With that thought in mind, I return my gaze to the street. And there, in front of me, stands a woman holding her phone in front of her face. <laughs> she took a picture. Her phone was clearly pointed at me. I try to cover my face, but not quickly enough. I turn around just to make sure she wasn't pointing it at someone behind me, but that doesn't seem to be the case. <laughs> She's still staring at her phone. Without even glancing at me, she turns around and points her phone at some other pedestrian. Maybe she's just taking photos of everyone at the scene and not just me. But still, I need to have a word with her, because of course he needs to have a word with everybody. The organization is after me, so I can't risk that photo getting out. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> she doesn't turn around. She is so engrossed in her photography that she doesn't even notice me? Or did she not catch my magnificent native level English? She turns back, finally noticing me. And of course, her phone turns with her. She completely ignores my objection. And then she goes back to looking at her phone. If she is, then I may have to take suitable measures. <laughs> po possible organization spy. <laughs> Pro probably not organization spy. Shigaruto <laughs> Lady ignoring me. Is she even listening? I am not. Sorry. Oh wait, what am I doing? Ah, I'm not supposed to be voicing them. Wow, she finally speaks. Just a whisper, but it's something. <laughs> Lady who apologizes to I love this. She lowers her head slightly in a bow. Or at least I think it's a bow. She's been looking down all this time, so I can't really tell. <laughs> Her fingers dance around her phone's keys with impressive speed, exactly the opposite of her annoyingly slow speech pattern. Or is she one of the people who came to see the satellite? In that case, why did she take a picture of me? She shakes her head without looking at me. <laughs> Oh, you're one to talk. Huh? I guess she's introducing herself. That's nice, but I just want her to delete that photo. An urban legend? What is she talking about? Don't tell me. There's a brilliant but insane mad scientist said to be lurking at Akihabara. And now the brilliant but insane mad scientist is the target of every assassin in the underworld? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Akihabara, you weren't such a bad town. I'm glad that- She replies with a nod, or something like a nod. 
それがそそうか Nothing about a mad scientist. I'm relieved, but also disappointed. At any rate, this is the first I've heard about a phantom retro PC. Mabros no retro PC to you to. Cupach a t a r i k That's the first model of that comes to mind. But are 98s really that hard to find? She shakes her head slightly, or something like a shake. Eh. Kore. She turns her phone towards me. The screen shows an oddly shaped computer. It's hard to tell since the photo is monochrome,、uh, monochrome, but it looks like some kind of PC. It looks kind of familiar. IBN 5100. An IBN 5100. John Titor got Tenny Leoto Sta PC. Her fingers twitch, I think. Mita Kotova. Nay. Namayo Stirgrida. Coincidence? No. これもシュタインズゲートの選択かもしれん。詳しい人知らないダルンならば詳しく知っているかもな。そいつは俺のマイフェイバリットライトアームであるスーパーハカーでな。MI6 の中枢にすらハッキングできる実力の持ち主なのだ。The M16 part is a slight exaggeration. If that ever did happen, men in black would break down our door and take us away. But the super hacker part is true. The depth of his computer knowledge is uncanny. Speaking of Daru, I'm supposed to meet him at my,、uh, May Queen plus Neon 2. I guess it's Neon Squared. I keep saying Neon 2, it's Neon Squared. I don't have time to stand and chat with some crazy lady I don't know. I try to make a smooth exit one liner and everything, but she grabs my sleeve before I can disappear into the crowd. What are you after? The super hacker. I guess she wants to hear Daru's story. It's my fault for mentioning him. Well, I'm meeting up with Daru, so why don't I just take her along? No, wait a second. This could be a devious trap. Maybe she's really a spy sent to kidnap Daru. I'm defenseless without him. My only other ally is Mayuri, whose skills amount to costume design. I refuse. I'll never give up Daru. I slip past her and start walking faster. I glance back. She's following me. I pick up the pace, but she's still chasing me. Stop following me! Unperturbed, she shows me her phone again. On the screen is a picture of me that she took. Gah! You still haven't deleted it. Tell me, and I'll delete it. You dare blackmail me? Who do you work for? I attempt to glare her into submission, but her eyes are already lowered. My glare is ineffective. I. She hesitates for a second. Work part time at Arc Rewrite. What's that? An ed- editorial company here in Akihabara. One of those companies that writes articles for magazines? Is this gloomy lady really fit that kind of work? Wait, you plan on publishing my picture without permission, don't you? The mad scientist of Akaba unveiled. I can see the headlines now. That's all the organization will need to turn Akiba into a sea of blood. No, I must avoid that gruesome outcome at all costs. I have no choice. Very well, I accept your terms. At any rate, as long as she has the photo, I have no way of knowing how it might be used. I pull up my email address and show it to her. Looking back and forth from my phone to hers, she enters my info with terrifying speed. Of course. This woman is an esper. I dub, I, I dub her power Shining Finger. 
Her magical thumb types cursed emails at 255 characters per minute. Whoever receives one dies. I gotta say, this guy would be really good at, like, D&D. Because he just has such an imagination. She's done typing my address. It took all of five seconds. フェニックスの法王にインそして凶悪なる真実はフェニックスの法王にインそして凶悪なる真実だ I repeat my perfect explanation. He's just been asking for someone to ask his name. This is the origin of my true name. Explaining the in part of Hoi, uh, Huiyin would take too long, so I left it out. <laughs> she enters my name with her head tilted to the side. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> She lowers her head a little more. An apologetic bow, I guess. <laughs> she shakes her head, clutching her phone with both hands as if to protect it from me. Like a spoiled child who can't let go of a toy, she shields it from me with all her might. What does she think I'm going to do? Her reaction is a little depressing. Anyway, she's obviously not going to hand her phone over, so I ask for her address instead. I'll send her a blank mail. She told me her name a few minutes ago, but I forgot it already, so I enter her as Shining Finger. <laughs> what am I doing standing here in the middle of the street? Let's hurry up and send her a blank email. I don't need to type anything. It's just to give her my name. I already put her in my contacts. Just send a blank email to Shining Finger. Okay, alright, the game is telling me, right? What to do? Contacts. <laughs> Shining Finger. And send. <laughs> She's staring at her phone. I don't think I've ever met someone who made less eye contact. After a few seconds, her phone receives the email. <laughs> He's like, God damn, I forgot to change it. <laughs> damn, my email is still linked to my real name. I must change it at once. She's really not buying it. She nods slightly, I think. It's really hard to tell. Her body language is as subdued as her voice. <laughs> like the exact opposite of him. She silently shows her uh, shows me her screen. The only picture remaining is the one of the computer. That's a relief. <laughs> oh, that. I almost forgot. His thing is basically, if it doesn't relate to him in any way, he's not interested in it. With that, Shining Finger wanders off. Throughout the encounter, she kept the same cool expression. Actually, I don't think we ever once made eye contact. Here we go. I open the door to the May Queen plus Neon Squared Maid Cafe, and two familiar cat-eared girls greet me with smiles. What's up with the name? One of them is Mayuri. But here, she's called Mayushi Nyan Nyan. Since she works here, I stop by about twice a month. I guess that would make me a regular customer. Actually, I've never been to any other maid cafe. After bowing again, Mayuri gasps as, she, as if she thought of something. Whatever. 
The other maid who came to greet me, Ferris Nyanyan, her professional name of course, hits me with her trademark combo attack of cute cat-like gestures. She's May Queen plus Neon Squared's most popular- I'm just gonna call it May Queen. She's May Queen's most popular maid. Even though she and Mayuri are about the same age, she looks and acts a bit younger. Daru frequents this cafe because he's got a crush on Ferris. He often reads her public blogs while muttering, Ferris, you're so cute to himself. He's got it real bad. I keep telling him to choose either 2D or 3D, but he doesn't listen. I also have trouble dealing with this cat girl. She always finds a way to best me. ああ、そんなところだ。フェイリスもマジで欲しいにゃ。やめとけ。猫耳メイドが立ち打ちできるほど期間は甘くない。そんなことないにゃ。フェイリスにはあの非奥義があるのにゃ。きっとお役に立て
フェリスちゃんって短くしてるんだなんだそういうことか It's okay. なんだか女学院みたいでそれも悪くないにゃ It's like, I have a hard time saying names too, so I understand. Okay then, moving on. いいからさっさと案内してくれ。俺はいつまでここに立っていればいいんだ<笑>ごめんなさいにゃ。ご主人様、ご案内にゃー。まゆし、ご案内よろしくにゃんにゃ。任せてにゃんにゃ。If you hadn't noticed, the cat ear maids here at May Queen are required to add cat sounds, nyas and yans, to their words with some frequency. Mayuri takes my hand and leads me inside. Apparently, Mayushi Nyan Nyan is the only one who leads customers by the hand like this. It probably comes naturally to her. She doesn't even realize the effect it has on her customers, and that's why she's second to Ferris in popularity at this maid cafe. She guides me to Daru's table. The tables are about 60% full. Among Akiba's maid cafes, May Queen's popularity is solid, but not booming. Considering what Ferris and the others are wearing, it's more like a cosplay cafe than a maid cafe. Furthermore, the cat ears at Nyan Nyan and Nyan 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 dialect makes it less accessible to low level otaku and first timers. On the other hand, those same cat ears are a topic of heated debate among die hard maid caf、uh, cafe fans.、Woo. Maids don't have cat ears. Cat ears plus maid equals two times moe. These two viewpoints clash. This place is one of the older maid cafes in Akihabara, but it doesn't get much media exposure. Maybe that's what makes it more comfortable than most. At least, that's what Daru says. He talks about the stuff so much that it's been burned into my synapses. Daru sits in front of me but doesn't look my way. He looks upset for some reason. So, what do you think about the fact that 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 どうせダルには理解できない話だと思うが Hell, even I don't get most of it. ああそっち系の話かフェイリスタンとオカリンの会話は普通のオタじゃついていけない領域に達してるよなオーラみたいなものが出てるっつうの二人だけの固有結界張り上がって許さない絶対にだフェリスちゃんもオカリンのこと気に入ってるみたいだにゃお店の子お店に来るご主人様たちみんな含めてフェリスちゃんのお話についていけるのはねオカリンだけだもんにゃ I'm not even close to keeping up with her そんなオカリンに嫉妬なんという勝ち組ふっ<笑>嘘で塗り固めた女になど興味はない今日のお前が言うなすればここですか黙れ浮気野郎めが二次元の嫁が泣いているぞぐはー痛いところ疲れたっすダーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーウィアーオムライスそれとホットコーヒーブラックでかしこまりますにゃんにゃん After taking my order, Mayuri finds her way towards the counter as if swimming between the rows of tables I hope she doesn't trip で、僕になんか用事だった Daru asks without getting up from the table That's right In my con、uh, confrontations with Shining Finger and Cat Curl, I almost forgot my original objective あと1時間ぐらいしたらラボに行くつもりだったんだけど内密で緊急の話があるのだ I lean on the table and scan the area without moving my head ジョン・タイターは知っているよなジョン・タイター誰アメリカに10年ほど前に現れた自称未来人だお前とは以前こいつの話題をしたはずだぞまたオカリンのいつもの
設定設定とか言うな俺が話すことは全て真実だああ満足せじゃあ付き合ってやるけどさそのタイターってやつが未来人だっていうソースは待てなんでそんな初耳のような言い方をする事実初耳だから忘れたわけではなく自信はないけど日本でもそいつに関する本が出ているその本を見せてくれたら思い出せるかも本当に何も知らないのか人の記憶力なんて結構曖昧なもんしょうデジタルと違ってさ<笑>オカリンがそんな PC を知ってるなんてねやるじゃん知っているんだな IBN が1975年に発売したモデルっしょ Right, that's what John Teeter said on At Channel He traveled to 1975 first, obtained an IBN 5100 then leaped to 1998どんな PC なんだ値段高すぎの PC だな黎明期だったからすげえ高くて個人には手が出せなかったらしい。IBN の独自技術が詰まった。その当時にしては結構優秀な PC だったんだけどね。IBN は6年後の1981年に IBNPC っていう大ヒットシリーズを発売してて、そっちの方が有名なわけ。つうか僕も IBN5100 の知識はネットのウィキを見たことがあるぐらいだぞ。それが現在の秋葉にあるという都市伝説を聞いたことはおうおうあるある1ヶ月前ぐらいにネットで話題になったなでその噂を聞きつけたアットちゃんの勇士が秋葉中のショップを探して回ったんだよフレパラのフレンドにゲジネって人がいるんだけどその人が中心になってねあの疾風人来のナイトハルトまで出張ってきたらしいけど結局見つからなかったんだってじゃあ都市伝説はデマだったということかさあ知らねえ秋葉にはアンダーグラウンドなショップがたくさんあるし案外どっかの怪しいショップにひょっこり転がっててもおかしくないんじゃね Why does it sound like even though it's a CRT place and not a computer place that it might turn up at,、uh, at that brawn shop? ふむ。なるほど。My phone suddenly starts vibrating. It stops after three seconds. Alright, let's take a look. Alright, Shining Finger. Oh, Kape-san, I mailed you as soon as I could. My name is Kiryu Mo. Mo oh my gosh, Moaka? Moaka. I'm a 20 year old freelance editor. I believe I mentioned I wrote、uh, part time at Arc Rewrite. Sorry for taking your picture. It wasn't on purpose. I needed some shots of Akihabara for work, and you just happened to be in one. Actually, to tell you the truth, I was hoping to sneak some shots of the satellite, laughing my ass off. By the way, the picture I took was just a test, not the final shot. That's why I was using my phone. Even if you hadn't begged me to delete it, I wouldn't have posted it, so don't worry. Anyway, I should get to the point. I'm really sorry for asking like this, okay,、uh, Okaba. Okaba kun, but it would be super great if you could ask your friend the super hacker about the IBN 5100. I don't really know anything about computers, especially old computers. All I have to go on is that picture I showed you.、Uh, I'll, I'll attach the image. Be absolutely positively sure to reply, okay? I'll be waiting. And if you could, I'd be super happy if you gave me your super hacker friend's email address. I'll mail you again. It's okay to mail you again, right? Of course it is. Bye, Moaka. Okay, so I have to make sure to get the. Okay, attachment. There we go. Alright. Oh, come on. What's with this mail? Disregarding the weird timing. Is this really the gloomy, unsociable woman I met in front of Rodicon? She's like a completely different person in this email. Does she have split personalities or something? Well, I got some info about the IBN 5100, so I guess I should give her a reply. But if I send an immediate reply to a woman I just met, won't I come off as clingy and desperate? I, Hoyuin Kiyoma, will not be taken lightly. 
This is my chance to make her understand which one of us is the superior human being. And above all, I have yet to ascertain if she can be trusted. She might start harassing me if I reply the wrong way. And besides, she hasn't proven she's not working for the organization. Nonetheless, it couldn't hurt to tell her what I learned from Daru. To discourage her, of course. Mwahaha. Let's ignore it. This is out of kindness. Mm-hmm. I scan the area with my eyes once more. Then I lean in close. IBN 5000百は世界滅亡の引き金になるアイテムなんだななんでだよ引き金にはならないし世界滅亡もしないっつうのなに世界滅亡しちゃうのかにゃ brings my omelet rice. She's doing her cat-like gestures while keeping her tray balanced on one hand. True feline ag uh, agility. Despite her nyan 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 nonsense, Ferris is the cons uh, consummate professional. The cat girl puts the omelet rice on the table and then takes a bottle of ketchup from her apron pocket. She uses it to write, The world is doomed in red letters of, uh, upon the omelet's blank yellow canvas. It appears the cuteness has shattered Daru's sanity. I give him a look that says, calm down, but to no avail. I smooth out the ketchup with the bottom of my spoon, erasing the ketchup words. I'm going to eat it either way. I take a mouthful of omelet rice. Farah starts dancing in place. I prefer she not jump around like that when people are eating nearby. つまり、いいらしっぺなのにゃ。よかったら今日も参加するにゃ。参加費はドリンク込みで1000円。フェリスに勝てた人には商品として手作り料理を振る舞うにゃ。無理無理。オカリンはライネットには詳しくないんだ
Phew, if I'd left things going as they were, I would have had to play along for another 10 minutes in her fantasy world. I said, forget about said, forget about Akabe, I think she would be a great D&Der. Daro explains with a wry smile. Daro ignores my perfect retort. フェイリスさんが公式大会に出ないのが残念だよ。細けえ答えいいんだよ。とりあえずフェイリスタンは可愛い。可愛いは正義。猫耳ロリメイドは消しからん。性的な意味で。それでいいだろう。お前は結局二次元派なのか三次元派なのかどちらなのだ。あえて
Even if you could, a Tipler machine can't travel farther back in time than the moment of its creation. Enough of your delusions. At channel is not your blog. I want to hear from Teeter. This is a surprise. Do you mean people of this age already know about my time machine? Did you really encounter me 10 years ago? If so, then it must have been on another world line. I, at least, have not gone pa uh, have not gone to the year 2000. In any case, the important point is that a rotating black hole has the same effect as a Tipler cylinder. You can learn more about Kerr black holes by studying the Penrose diagram or Tipler's calculations. My time machine works by generating a, d a pair of Kerr black holes. In Japanese, please. <laughs> Teeter came out 10 years ago? Source? Or Teeter came 10 years ago. What the fuck are Kerr black holes? Explain using boobies, oh erotic one. I'll pay a thousand yen to ride your time machine, not a yen more. Source is Hoi Sun's delusions, lol. Real deal. He didn't deny it, lol. All aboard Hoi crazy train, prepare for a train wreck. Kerr black hole time travel is theor theor oh my gosh. theoretically possible, but one, how do you get black holes to spin? Don't tell me you wait until you find one spinning naturally, that's ridiculous. Two, how do you pass through the singularity? There's no way a Chevy can withstand the pressure. Why the short explanations, John? You stupid? You wanna die? Still no stock prices! This isn't a delusion. I know for a fact that Teeter posted 10 years ago. There's even a book about it. Search the used bookstores if you don't believe me. His Chevy has a gravity distortion unit. That's what he said 10 years ago. Yes, it does have a gravity distortion unit. My time machine is not perfect. It was built by a third party who reverse engineered CERN's design. The gravity distortion unit is a little unstable. First, the unit produces a micro-singularity, then injects electrons to induce rapid rotation. This generates a local gravity sine wave. As the time machine passes through the singularity, the gravity distortion unit regulates the pressure to ensure safe passage. I'm not a specialist, so I cannot explain the mechanics any further. Let me just say that Kerr black holes can be manufactured. I assume everyone's aware of CERN's current experiments with black hole creations. TLDR, shut the fuck up. Unstable? Sounds dangerous. Oh fuck, Teeter's black holes are gonna spoil the Earth. He's not just a mass murderer. He's trying to wipe out the entire human race. Find his parents before it's too late. It's not that you won't explain, it's that you can't. How do you set the destination? The Earth is constantly moving, or didn't you know that? By the way, I propose the teeter hui in theory, lol. Oh my gosh, how long is this gonna be? I set the destination with a VGL system. That's variable gravity lock. It functions by reading the local gravity of the destination and locking the Tipler sine wave onto that location. By locking onto Earth's gravity, it ensures I don't end up floating into space. It uses four cesium clocks to make the calculations so the margin of error is neg negligible. <laughs> Hoian needs to shut up, lol. I've never heard of Teeter from 10 years ago, lol. So the universe is deep in Teeter shit. The same information was in the Teeter book. All, you all you've done is post 10 year old copy pasta. Anyone could do that. How do I know you're the real Teeter? John Tan, so moe, my waifu. I recognize different opinions. I'm feeling more and more disappointed. Still nothing concrete. Nice try, I guess, but I won't be fooled. Okay. Whew. Whoa, I shouldn't waste all day on at channel. We have more important things to deal with. Namely, the phone wave, name subject to change. We haven't experimented with it since yesterday. It's high time I figure out what's going on with that thing. Earlier, I asked Daru to connect the phone wave, name subject to change, to the computer. He finished setting it up yesterday, and now he's about to do the quick wire work in the development room. I mean, it's a 20-year-old machine with specs lower than my cell phone. ロマンだ。ロマンならしょうがないな。いずれにしてもラボには他に空いてるPCがなかったんだよ。お前の最新PCは？ふざけんな。こんなわけのわからんものにつなげてもしどうさが遅くなったらどうすんだよ。Self
バナナではない何かになっていた腐食した可能性はないか2分間チンしたぐらいで腐るはずないもんなフラクタル構造を思い出したよメンガーのスポンジだっけああバナナにフラクタル図形の穴をナノレベルで無限に開けていったような感じなんかヤバくね何が起きてるんだろう俺には一つ仮説がある Adding a dramatic pause to build tension. Daru gulps, waiting for me to continue. Den s h i r e n j i no Den j i h a no e k o To you, k a s e t a Eh? So let the do you. Ore no sui so kuga tadashkeba. Den wa renji kako kariba. Ton de monai sasho heki ni nari uru. Gunji ni ten yon sereba. Senso no rekshi ga nuri kawaru da ro. I twist my lips into maniacal grin. Then I whip out my phone and put it to my ear. カングルー妖精さんと話してんじゃねえっつーの接続終わったぜい I want to explain he's not imaginary but revealing the identity of my contact would be a betrayal the last thing I need is another enemy especially one whose power and cunning rival is that of the organization the phone wave name subject to change is now an indecipherable mess of wires All we did was hook it up to a computer, yet it turned out like something MacDiver would put together. Now we can access the microwave's terminal mode and see exactly what's going on its, in its computer's brains. t h e man, I'm having trouble with it. What are you doing? Banana is ready. She said, She's gonna be like, My bananas, no! They had to do it when she was away. Just before I left May Queen, m a r i asked me to buy some bananas. With her money. <laughs> She's too nice for her own good. Or maybe she didn't even consider what would happen. She's too trusting. By now, you think if she'd know,、uh, by now you think she'd know if I buy bananas, I'm going to experiment on them. But do you have to experiment on all of them? You promised her that you wouldn't use all the bananas next time. And so I put the entire bunch of bananas into the phone wave, name subject to change. Like, why? I'm going to use the phone wave, name subject to change. それマユシのお金で買ってきたんだろう。Yeah, exactly. It's like, why do you have to use all of them? やつから提供された研究費だ。そもそもまるまる全部使う必要なんてないし、一本でいいよ一本で。I don't know why people are friends with this guy, frankly. What if she goes like, I know you're about to do it. What are you doing? Oh, Ferris. The holders of original sin, also known as the prophets, Nya. Among them is a girl known as the fallen angel who accepted chaos, Nya. I attached a picture of her face, so remember it well, Nya. Oh, and before I forget, looking at the picture with,、uh, without protection will cause Divine Eye to activate Original Sin、uh, Excitation Mode 666 Compulsory Receptor Release, which will annihilate you at the subatomic level. So be careful, Nya. Dara retrieves the bananas, peels one from the bunch, and sticks it back inside the phone wave. Name subject to change. Yeah, as long as it's not your money. <laughs> He lost all enthusiasm the second we got back to the lab. What a fickle man. Right, now, where did I put my phone? Phone, phone. All right, all right. So I have to call the phone wave. There we go. Call complete. Instant access. R E N G. Kotira wa denwa renji. Kako kari des. The Mayushi guidance system. Kotira kara taima sosa ka dekimas. シャープボタンを押した後温めたい秒数をプッシュしてください
マユシーガイダンスにスキップ機能をつけておくんだった待たされるとイライラする<笑>例えば1分ならシャープ6012分ならシャープ120です It's finally over OK entering 120 pounds Complete. The turntable inside the phone wave, name subject to change, begins to spin backwards. It doesn't actually have to be two minutes. Mai read the timer set to two minutes when she first discovered the freezing function, or whatever it is, so we're just reproducing that. Naturally, we have experimented with 60 seconds and 180 seconds too. If we set it shorter, the freezing only goes halfway, if at all. Conversely, setting it longer increases the effect. でもさマジで電磁波のせいだったら僕らの細胞なんかもスカスカになっちゃってんのか While still looking bored, Daru finally gets into the discussion at hand. お前は電話レンジカッコ仮の中に入ってチンされたことがあるのかそもそも入れない罠。つうか電磁波の影響ってソースはあえて言うならばマッドサイエンティストとしての勘だ。ちょ根拠なしとかかつてエイジさんはこう言った 1% のひらめきがなければ 99% の努力は無駄でしかないだから発明家よひらめけと天才は 1% のひらめきと 99% の努力じゃなかった残念だったな。<笑>近年ではそれは誤って広まったものだというのが常識になっているのだ。うわぁ<笑> !Oh my gosh, like I said, this guy would be insufferable to have as a friend. エジソンが言ったんひらめけって。そう。ひらめけとだ。I don't know if that's exactly what he said, but I'm sure it was something along those lines. At least that's what the wiki said. ゆえに、天才マッドサイエンティストである俺は常に。The phone wave, name subject to change rings. しかし、チンをしたところで、ゲル状になるだけで、新しい発見など何もないよな。It feels like I wasted a 120 seconds on nothing. Daru opens the phone wave, name subject to change's door, and peeks inside. He rubs his eyes, blinks several times, and resumes staring to the microwave. いや、えっと、あれ、消えた。What? 消えたって何が ?What? Wait, didn't I say in the, in the last episode, or maybe earlier in this episode, I was like, the phone wave is going to be some sort of time travel device thingy. Like, there's going to be something important about it. What? バナナが。What is he talking about? I pushed Daru aside and looked into the phone wave. Name subject to change. No. There's nothing inside. The banana has vanished without a trace. <sighs> After a short pause to collect myself, I whip out my phone and speak into the silence. I ignore Daru's panicked cry. I'm surprised too. My heart's pounding, but I try to appear calm. I put my phone away after yelling. それでバナナはどこに隠した誰がストーカーだよバナナを出して手品でも披露して得意になっているつもりか隠したのはオカリンだろ<笑> Uncomfortable silence. I realize my throat is dry. なんで消えたんだよ知らんがなどこに行ったバナーナバナーナ
<laughs> okay, I am so happy I decided to enable his voice. I put down. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I take the turntable out of the microwave, scour every nook and cranny, but find neither peel nor stem of the banana. So, これは電磁波兵器などではなく、テレポートが可能な電子レンジだったのだ。な、なんだって？で、そんな無茶な。出なければこの密室からバナナが消えるはずがない。えっと、ひとまず冷静になるべきじゃね。ああ、そうだな。we each take a deep breath. Oh, I know. I'll eat one of the remaining banan uh, bananas. That will calm me down. That's how I'm gonna say bananas from now on. I reach for the bunch of bananas. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Impossible. Impossible. Not three minutes ago, Daru plucked the banana from the bunch and put it inside the phone wave, name subject to change. But now there's no sign that a banana was ever plucked. Instead, a single jellified banana has appeared among the regular bananas. What the hell? Daru notices it too. He reaches out to touch it, but I quickly stop him. No cuts or anything. Aside from the jellification, it looks completely normal. The world I spoke in uh, the word I spoke impulsively a few seconds ago. I hesitate to speak it again, but I must, because no matter how unbelievable it may be, we saw it with our own eyes. My head's full of question marks. I don't know how this happened, but if I were to explain it as I saw it, the banana that was inside the phone wave, name subject to change, returned instantly to its bunch. In other words. I hear a girl's voice coming from the lounge. Oh, it's Kurisu. Alright guys, so that will do it for this episode of Steins Gate. Met a lot of interesting new characters, and we're finally seeming to get somewhere with this teleporter, which... Between that and this supposed time traveler on that uh, message board... I wonder when we're actually going to start getting into the time travel and I'm going to start making choices that are going to, I assume, affect the timelines and things like that. That's what I'm really excited for, but I'm still enjoying it even if it's starting off a little slow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and stay tuned for the next one. Until next time, bye guys. Oh my gosh, look at all of these new tips. All right, let's get my throat ready. Here we go. Terminal mode, using another networked external computer terminal to operate a program that cannot run otherwise. MacDiver, fictional, a popular TV drama that aired in America from 1985 to 1992. The protagonist, MacDiver, was famous for overcoming obstacles with tools fashioned from common household items. Mender Sponge, an example of a fractal structure. Take a cube and do the following. For each side of the cube, cut a square hole in the center with one-ninth the area of the face. Each side now has eight squares. For each of these eight squares, cut a new hole with one-ninth the area of the square. Repeat an infinite number of times. The result is a sponge-like structure whose surface area approaches infinity as its volume approaches zero. Fractal Structure In geometry, a structure that demonstrates self-similarity. The smallest portion of a fractal structure will appear similar to the whole. Common examples of fractal structures are snowflakes and coastlines. Phase Transition Phase transition is what occurs when a substance changes from one state of matter to another. Examples include liquid to solid, freezing, liquid to gas, evaporation, ferromagnetic, uh, paramagnetic, and the vacuum phase transition. Odd-eyed. Heterochromia, oh boy, iridis, a condition where the eyes are different colors, a trait often found in anime and manga characters. There usually isn't a reason for the character to be odd-eyed, it's mostly just for moe or the coolness factor. 
X68000, a 16-bit PC sold in Japan in the late 1980s. Its peculiar twin tower case was dubbed Manhattan-shaped. Oh boy, this is a long one. Singularity. In astrophysics, a point of infinite gravity. Singularities are predicted to exist at the center of black holes. However, since it's impossible to observe the interior of a singularity, the, ex the existence of such cannot be proven. In a black hole, the singularity is formed by the gravitational collapse of a dying star. For example, imagine a star millions of kilometers in diameter. Now imagine that entire star's mass compressed into a space smaller than the period at the end of the sentence. That is a singularity. In Japanese, please, a teasing phrase used on online message boards to tell an incomprehensible poster to please post comprehensively. Chevy, fictional. A, an American automated, uh, automobile brand. Wait, Chevy fictional? Chevy's not fictional. It's spelled correctly, I think. Anyway. Uh, Braun tube, another name for the cat hold, cat hold ray tube CRT. This name is used more commonly in German, Germany and Japan. It comes from the name of the inventor of the cat hold ray tube, Carl Ferdinand Braun. Slow food, food that takes time to cook and eat, as opposed to fast food or instant food. Uh, free para, pop, uh, fictional, a popular SNS social network service website, designed to facilitate easy communication between users. Wiki, an online system for the creation and compilation of hypertext documents on a web server. Reality Marble, a type of magecraft in which the user overwrites the world with a pocket dimension based on his or her emotional experience. Often used in ordinary conversation to speak of couples flirting in public, immersed in their own world, not caring about the pain they are inflicting on others. Uh, Esper, a general term for humans who possess supernatural powers. Common powers include telepathy, telekinesis, and precognition, though more exotic powers exist. It is rumored that some espers even possess the ability to reshape reality with pure force of will, derives from the term ESP, which stands for extrasensory pre uh, perception. Oh, derp. I just had a thought. That's why that's why Espeon's called Espeon, because it stands for ESP or Esper, I guess. I just had a little bit of a little light bulb moment there. Anyway, uh, Media Scrum. During news stories with high public interest, reporters sometimes latch on to persons of interest, bombarding them with questions, prying into their lives, and even camping outside their houses. These activities are a serious invasion of privacy and can inflict mental and emotional stress on the subject. MI6. In the United Kingdom, the government organization responsible for foreign intelligent operations. MI6 stands for Military Intelligence Section 6. However, its formal name is the Secret Intelligence Service SIS. 98. A Japanese PC series sold from the mid-1980s to the mid-1990s. It sold so well that at one point it was called the National Computer. Oh boy. Uh, Doijinshi? I'm still not saying that right, am I? Fan-created amateur manga, which are often but not always adult in nature. These are sold at special doijinshi events, the biggest of which is the twice-annual comic giga market known by fans as Kamima. Maid Cafe. A type of cafe where the waitresses wear maid outfits, usually in the French maid style. They usually call their customers master. Patrons can talk to the waitresses and play games with them, but ultimately maid cafes are restaurants, not bordellos. Dystopia, the opposite of a utopia. For example, a completely regulated society in which most people are denied privacy and freedom. CERN, fictional. A French acronym for Société Européenne pour la Recherche Nucléaire. Le Nucléaire. I did take some French in school, but only up until about grade 11, so my, friends pr my French pronunciation is poor. <laughs> or European Society for Nuclear Research. Sometimes my English pronunciation is poor as well. The world's largest elementary particle physics laboratory, located on the Franco-Swiss border near Gen uh, Geneva, has a bank, a library, a post office, and a dorm on premises. Scientists from around the world gather at CERN to research particle physics. Trolling on the internet to post controversial opinions or false information for the purpose of provoking a reaction. Oh, this this one. Uh, cr oh my gosh, I just noticed at the bottom it shows how to actually pronounce it. Uh, Kreutzfeldt Jakob disease, another name for bovine sponge form encephalopathy, BSE, commonly known as mad cow disease, but only used in the case of human infection. Early symptoms include memory loss, abnormal movements, personality changes, dementia, and muscle stiffness. In severe cases, the patient may waste away for one to two years before dying of respiratory par uh, paralysis or other complications. 
IBM Fictional, an American computer com uh, company, not only do they develop and sell hardware and software, they also offer service and consultation to on uh, enterprises. Whew, man, oh man, this is taking a toll on my throat. In recent years, they have made the latter their main focus. IBM invented floppy disks and hard disk drives. The world. The power to stop time. One of the supernatural abilities called stands that appears in the popular manga Juju's Bizarre Adventures. Those with the ability to use stands are called stand users. Oh my gosh, there's so much more. I hope you guys are like okay with this. Uh, Unasa, a wand that is carried by a Shinto priest adorned with shide paper. It is used in blessing rituals to ward off evil spirits. Also called Ziggy Zags. Someone this cute can't be a girl. It is an unwritten rule to use this phrase whenever you see someone who looks like a cute girl, but is either of unspecified gender or actually a boy. This expression is also used sarcastically with boyish looking girls. Uh, Kiriai-chan, Ch Kiriai fictional, the heroine of Rainet Kakaru. Her full name is Nishimura Kirai. She is a smart and athletic girl in the fifth grade. She is also cute and has a good personality. Basically, the perfect girl. Passionate about fashion, hates mushrooms. Komima, fictional, comic Giga Market, a massive otaku event held twice a year at Tokyo Big Site. Every Komima, thousands of artists gather to sell their creations, which range from erotic ma uh, manga based on popular anime to original figures, music, and games. The next Komima will be held on August 15th, which means we will definitely be going to that in the game, won't we? Fujoshi, a term for female otaku with a, otaku with a particular interest in yaoi or works of fiction that depict homosexual relationships between men. Does not apply to female otaku in general. Blade Works. Fictional. One of several stores in Akihabara that sell replica weapons. Items include Japanese Sengoku period swords, European middle age swords, and knight armor. Pedestrian Heaven. Some neighborhoods of Tokyo, such as Akihabara, close major streets on busy shopping days. This effectively turns the street into one big sidewalk, facilitating pedestrian access. Miko. Shrine maidens, priestesses in the Shinto region, Miko typically dress in a white kimono with a red hakama or skirt. Their role is to assist priests with performing rituals and events. The principle of causality, a scientific and philosophical principle that states that every event has a cause and it is by that cause that an effect is produced. The theory of relativity is founded upon this principle. However, quantum physicists have observed microscale phenomenon that do not appear to obey the principle of causality. Urashima effect. In special relativity, a phenomenon originating from the fact that time slows down as an object approaches the speed of light. For example, imagine that an astronaut travels to a nearby star and back at close to the speed of light. This trip might take a few years from the astronaut's perspective, but he would return to Earth to find that thousands of years had passed in his absence. 1.21 gigawatts. Originates from a 1980s trilogy of Hollywood movies about time machines and time paradoxes. In the first movie, the inventor of the time machine says that it needs 1.21 gigawatts of power to travel through time. In reality, the unit gigawatt does not exist. The scriptwriter script made a spelling mistake. The correct unit is gigawatt. Superstring theory. In physics, the theory that all matters in the universe is composed of strings, the vibrations of which manifest as the elementary particles. This theory, which, possess, which posits 11 dimensions, is currently impossible to prove experimentally. However, it is said that if the theory is proven, it will explain all phenomena from the birth and scope of the universe on the macro level to elementary particles like quarks on the micro level. Um, elementary particle, the smallest unit of matter. However, the definition of what constitutes an elementary particle is unclear. Certain elementary particles have a corresponding antiparticle with opposite charge. Oh boy, another long one. I do. Oh, theory of relativity refers to both Einstein's special theory of relativity, relativity published in 1905 and his general theory of relativity published in 1916, represented by the famous equation E equals mc squared. The special theory of relativity is defined by the following axioms. Objects cannot travel faster than the speed of light. As velocity approaches the speed of light, the passage of time approaches zero. As velocity approaches the speed of light, length approaches zero. As velocity approaches the speed of light, mass approaches infinity. The general theory of relativity adds the following axioms. In the presence of large gravitational fields, the passage of time slows down. In the presence of large gravitational fields, space curves. In the presence of large gravitational field, uh, fields, mass increases. Um, honorifics. 
Japanese employs a system of name suffi suffixes, suffixes, oh my gosh, that define the speaker's rel relationship to the addressee. The common honorifics are as follows. San, the most common honorific used with strangers, people of equal status, and in general whenever one needs to be polite. When used after the given name, it indicates a closer relationship. Kun, an informal name suffix generally used for male friends or male subordinates, also used by males towards female subordinates in professional environments. Chan, a diminutive suffix that indicates high affection usually used for small children, young girls, or between close female friends. Tan, an even more diminutive version of the Chan suffix, most often used for fictional characters, especially ana ana anthropomorphizations for added cuteness. Shi, a literary honorific generally used by formal publications such as newspapers. Some otaku, such as Daru, use Shi regularly. Uh, Louise Chan, I feel like I've already done these ones in the last episode, but I'm going to go through them anyway. Uh, Louise Chan, the main heroine of the anime, the familiar of Ten, a Sundere. Her voice actress is the Queen of Sundere, Sugamiya Rie, nickname Sugui. ATF, fictional, short for Akihabara Techno Forum, a meeting hall located inside Daibiru. Daibiru. <laughs> Several universities and research institutions hold special se uh, seminars here. Daibiru. <laughs> Why do I have such a hard time with this name in particular? A skyscraper with offices and a commerce center that opened alongside UPX in 2003, connected to UPX by overpass. Hunt's rule. The rule governing the placement of an atom's electrons. Orbitals of the same energy are each filled with one electron of the same spin before any are filled with a second. Also known as Hun's rule of maximum multiplicity. Special shout out to my top tier patrons. Namara Kito, Sparky, Icognito, Simon Rax, Mad Goldsmith, Harry Gaziff, and Asborn Kennedy.